What is going on guys, Zedia Fliptronics, and I'm gonna be giving you my review on using Robinhood Crypto in 2021. Now I've been a Robinhood user for the last eight plus years, but I've only been doing the crypto trading heavily for about the last year. Now I'm not gonna sit here and tell you that it's all great things on Robinhood, so I'm gonna go over some of the pros and cons. However, I do think everybody should at least give Robinhood a try, you know, for the fact that you can also trade stocks on here, so it'll get you into investing, not just like the crypto trading and investing part, but also like the stock trading. So if you guys do want to get started, I will throw some bonus links in both the description and comments. And of course, if you could smash the like button on this video, I would greatly appreciate it. All right, so let's start things off here talking about Ethereum. Now you can see I currently own some of this. I'm down on my uh, my position right now. But some of the basic features on Robinhood, you know, you can pull up the price charts based on like the one day, the one week, the one month, three month. They also have the live price, which is pretty cool. But, you know... Uh, other than that, you know, you've got some basic buying and selling orders. You've got market limits, limit orders. Um, so that's all good, right? Another nice thing about Robinhood, you know, clearly you don't have any fees as opposed to trading on like Coinbase, Coinbase Pro or like Binance. You know, you are going to be looking at fees anywhere from like 0.5 to 1.5%. But yeah, the nice thing is that there are no fees, right? So, I mean, I got to point that out. Now, one of the biggest advantages to using Robinhood for crypto trading is that they allow you to borrow money here. And borrowing money might seem a little bit risky, but honestly, if you do it responsibly, you can definitely make a lot of money by leveraging yourself up. Now, you typically don't want to borrow more than 20% uh, percent of what's in your account balance. So, you know, for example, you can see my account, I've got about 30,000 borrowed right now. Uh, but we'll just say, we'll keep it simple. If you have, you know, a uh, thousand bucks, try to keep it not more than, you know, two, 200 bucks. And also remember guys, none of this is financial advice. I do want to point that out. But the thing about borrowing money on Robinhood is that they charge you 2.5% interest on a yearly basis. So, you know, putting into perspective, me borrowing thirty thousand, I'm being charged about eighty dollars a month on that thirty thousand. That is absolutely insane. Now, you know there are some negatives to borrowing money because you know if you don't do it right and you borrow too much, you can get a margin call and then you got to deposit more money or you got to sell your positions on the stocks or crypto. So it can be risky. But like I said, if you do it responsibly, then you know, obviously it can definitely work for you. And I'm going to show you, you know, a couple, uh, or I'm going to show you an example of it working, but some of the cons, they don't have stop, uh, stop loss orders on here. So for example, if you wanted to buy into a crypto and then you wanted to sell it, you could, a, a lot of other, uh, you know, like apps and brokerages that have cryptocurrency trading, you know, it's important because when you hit that stop loss, it automatically sells for you. You can lock in profits. They don't have that feature. Now they have it for the stocks on Robinhood, but they don't have it for the crypto. I have no idea why it's a big bummer and hopefully they change that in the future. Um, and then of course, you know, the charts on here, as far as like pulling up graphs and prices, it's pretty bad. I mean, um, it's very basic. It's like super basic. All right. So, I mean, if they maybe did a little bit more with, you know, the charting on here on future updates, obviously that would be, you know, uh, big props to them because it's really terrible right now. But I'll show you an example of making some money on Ethereum this year. Now you can see I am down on the position I have, but you know, earlier this year I made about 10,000 bucks in about three and a half weeks and I borrowed money to do this. Now I actually at the time borrowed 25,000 and then I had, you know, 4,000 of my own money, but I was basically able to make about 10,000 bucks in three and a half weeks on that borrowed money as opposed to only using that 4,000. I think it, the difference was like, uh, yeah, I would have made I want to say like 12 or 1300, but instead I made an extra 86 or 8700 because I borrowed money. So, yeah, like I'm trying to get the, the whole point here. Robinhood has like, I, I'm pretty sure, I, don't quote me on this, but they have like the lowest uh, interest rates for borrowing money. 2.5% is ridiculously cheap. I mean, it, it's insane. I mean, it's insane. And I really think you should, you know, at least look into that a little bit because, you know, honestly, it's it's incredible. Okay, anyways, I also want to talk about some coins that I would recommend if you do get started on Robinhood. And they are going to be adding some more coins this year. I've mentioned that, but uh, Ethereum Classic, I definitely would buy right now, especially at its current price. Now, I think if you're buying uh, Ethereum Classic under 50 bucks, it's a good buy, honestly. As long as Ethereum is going to be going up in the future, which I think we all know it's gonna, I think getting some Ethereum Classic definitely makes sense. And I do like the price point on it. Um, and it actually shot up to, I think, 175 uh, this year. And if you bought it at that price, 
I'm very sorry. Uh, you know, it happens, uh, but you, you learn from buying at the top, right? You know, in cryptocurrency, you definitely want to be buying when things are going down, not when they're going up. Uh, you know, and I hate to say this, guys, but Dogecoin... I mean, you know, I think if you're buying and selling Doge, you could definitely make some money on it. So, you know, I, I'm not the biggest fan of it, but, you know, it is what it is. Um, and I guess just to kind of wrap things up, uh, I definitely think everybody should at least give Robinhood a try because, you know, just learning from, you know, how to invest and, you know, grow your money and the fact that you can do this on your phone at any time of the day it's it's powerful and it can be fun too it's all a learning process you're not gonna do good at it right away most likely but you know um just getting your uh, your feet wet with it will definitely help you a lot especially going into the future and with crypto trading okay anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you could smash the like button if you have any uh, questions or comments feel free to do that i'll get back to you uh thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one